looks like Steve's going backstage. He told me he had some business to attend to. And look, it's Rapper Ryan, everybody. What are they going to be talking about tonight? Oh, my. Oh, this I did not expect this. Oh, there's going to be repercussions. But first, we got another match to handle because the show must go on. And it's Rock Roberts versus Boston Fan. And it's going to be a normal FBXW type of match, which means it's going to be extreme rules, baby. Now, this is, this is, this is insane. Hopefully, when the boss gets back here later, he's going to tell me what's going on because that was not planned. But I'm really looking forward to this match right now. It seems I'm solo for a while, so... Who's coming out first? And it's Rock Roberts, the man with a big chip on his shoulder. He hasn't been really, really nice ever since he lost the title. Hey, Von, I'm back. Now, Steve, what was that all about? Oh, nothing I'm going to get into too much. Uh, somebody had a quip over the last show. I thought it was going to be discussion, and more ended up in concussion. But I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let it you know go too far. I'm not gonna do anything like a match or anything with him because I don't do that here. And we know you don't abuse your power. Well, hopefully we'll see about that in the future because right now it's the phenomenal, the one, the Boston fan himself, Chris Michaels. Yep, he's definitely one of our jewels here. He is going up, but this is gonna be a real challenge. This is just that a couple shirt. young guys. He has such great fashion since I love his shirt. I know he's I don't done know. the promos. He has shared outside of the fighting. He does such enormous efforts for us. I might not know the most about all the wrestlers and all, but if you got good fashion since I'm already a fan of Ghost Dog. That's all we ask. Stream rules, everybody. Here we go. Now we know Rock Roberts. He's a He's a former FBXW champ, and he has a little bit more experience, at least in this fed. Boston fan has his own experience from other E-fans as well. Oh, so who, oh, grabby, grabby there. So who do we think is going to have the advantage? Only time will tell. Oh. Rock Roberts was in the fed uh, last series for the longest. Boston fan, oh, well, that's some creepy stuff, but Boston fan likes to be real. He doesn't do all that stuff he's told to do all the time. Yes, he's, he's very much a fan of psychological warfare. Yes, definitely. And that's what I like about him. But Boston Man, he's not done this very long. He just loves doing that, doesn't he? He's very creepy sometimes, but I love him! He's trying to get into the head of the former champ, literally. But yeah, Boston Man, he's got the energy and the charisma. Brock Roberts has far more experience. And it looks like Brock Roberts will have the power advantage if he can just stop Boston Fan from moving and slow down his momentum for one moment. Uh-oh, where's he going? Oh, no. Things just got extreme. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? There are the choices, folks. What's he going to pick? Well, look, there's oh, the experience the right there. Brock Roberts was trying to cut him off. He did not want him to get that weapon. Oh, but now he's going to the other side. See, I think right now that's Boston fans' advantage. He has the speed. Chris Michaels has Ooh. the speed. Much like a young Shawn Michaels, this man is fast and running everywhere. Hey, he's got the same last name. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, and he actually has the same finishing move, the super kick. Oh. Oh, he's got the Negan. Oh, no. Oh, exactly. no. Oh, no, he knocked it out of his hands. He's not letting anyone have the first bat. Is that what you're going to call the bat, the Negan? Well, he brought it up first, and then somebody informed me what that meant, and now I just love it, the Negan. Oh, and he's just, you know, oh, he just knee, he Negan his knee. And that's really what he's going to have to do, because if, if Brock Roberts get that bat out of his hand and gets his hands on him, he'll have the power advantage. Oh! Oh, my! That was a package deal there. I don't know what he calls that finisher. It looked very much like the finisher we seen earlier tonight. The Green Awakening from Bonnie Green. He's an all fans of Paige, obviously. Well, you know, some moves can be shared in this bed. They just call them something different. 
And they have a different spin on it. No, super no, kick? I used to do super like kicks that. all the time. But see, that's the beautiful thing about wrestling, because not all wrestlers like that. And sometimes it gets really dirty, and you see all these interesting matches. Well, sometimes there's a, there's a what do you call it? A face-off of finishers and seeing who, you know, is the king of them and so forth. Exactly. And look at that drop kick. Trying Boston his best Man to is, keep is down. owning Rock Roberts right now, but Rock Roberts, don't count him out. Oh! What? Like right there, his experience comes in along with his power. Rock Roberts is a hardcore guy. He's a soldier of fortune. Plus, this man, a, he's a regular guy. This is why I like him. Exactly, and this is what Rock Roberts is going to have to do to win the match. He's going to have to keep him down, keep the wind out of him, use his power advantage. Oh, no! <laughs> the Negan again! No! Oh! That's I think he's, the walking, he's going to be the walking dead soon. Now you know, as strong as you are, when somebody breaks out a Negan like that, it's the great equalizer for the one, two, and the Oh, three. no! He just negan them into a three count. Now, some people might not like it, but you got to respect it. It is what it is, baby. And at the end of the day, Chris Michaels is the champion of this match. Well, he got past that obstacle. Congratulations, Chris Michaels, a Boston fan. I love hey, your T-shirt. Whoa, want. is he not done? The match is over, Chris. What, what are you thinking of doing there? I don't know. Oh, the referee no. was in the, in the way. He was trying to stop him. Oh, no. He's going at it some more. Now, this is just unsportsmanlike conduct. Really, you done won the match. There's no reason for this. Hey, you said it there, Ivana. Extreme rules. Well, during the match, but the match is over. I guess he's just trying to prove a point when he's coming in here. Maybe he wants to start something personal and make a name for himself? Who knows? This is just too much now. I, can, yeah. I cannot hardly wait for his promo now. He makes take, some awesome promos, and this time I think he's going to have something to talk about. Take your Negans and go to the woods and look at the flowers, Boston. Well, we move on to the next match right here. And it's Kevin Pitbull Hudson who earned a title shot against Rock Robert, or not Rock, sorry. They're all Sleeping so Lord. Rob's Haldworth. There's too many R words in here, Ivana. I am so tired of this job sometimes. But you gotta do it, because the people love it, and you know it gives you a reason to wake up and smile in the morning. Ah, oh, yes. There's old Kathy B. We love her. She has a fabulous color purple, like much like my eyeshadow. And she's pretty, too. And uh, there's Kevin. Oh, nice picture there. I think that's I think that's Princess Cables. What's that about, Kevin? I know you're in some kind of club with some of these uh, Facebookers, but what's with the Princess Cables montage on your shirt? Come on. Well, perhaps backstage you never know who works for each other and all. That's just how it is in this wrestling business. Nice shot of the shirt, though. Double the pleasure, double the fun, much like the matches earlier. Oh, yeah. We won't do that too often. It's just we had to do that, but you never know. But here comes the champion himself, leaping Lord Robs Hallworth. He is looking so confident right now. As he looks he good with that belt, though. Once again, a man with fabulous fashion sense. That belt looks so good on him. I think him and Bonnie Green shop at the same table. Could be. I have an eye for these things. How do you think that would look on Kevin? Well, Kevin's not really much of an outfit man. He's just a t-shirt and jeans. Yeah. 
But you know, Kevin really wanted to say that he had gold. He had gold. Now, Kevin, you have a chance to see. Can you take the gold home? Well, here we go. Does he still have what it takes? I know Kevin wants that gold real bad. Exactly. Sure, thirsty for it, he'll do whatever it takes. I don't think he wants to let go of that gold, but if Kevin yeah. outpowers him, will the king be dethroned today? Well, there have been short title reigns before. This is his first title defense. Exactly. Is he really the king, or is he just a fluke? It's time to prove what's what's what today, king. Well, on this bed of fun. There will be short reigns and there will be long reigns. Which one will this be? There can be only one, much like in the Highland movies. There can be only one! I love that long hair. Ding, ding, ding! Oh! And that's how you start a match off right there when you got a point to prove. Well, here's the leaping lord, Rob Halsworth. And look, he just tries to knock him right off, right off balance, right off the bat, and just keep all the blood rushing to his head. Kevin can barely see straight right now. Dog gone it. Oh, no. my big belly to back suplex. The straddle him and walloping him. Rob has wanted the heavyweight title for so long, and now that he has it, he ain't gonna let it go, I don't think. Look, the king just doing all he can to focus on his face. Well, he's a lord, not a king now. Let's not overdo it. Well, why you got the oh! belt, you're the king. When you don't you have the belt, foot? you're just a lord. Did you see that foot right now? Right he to his has, face? Yes, I seen the foot to the face. I'm not blind. And he better do his best to keep the king down because as long as a lord has the belt, he's the king. But that's just a lie. right, Ravana. Well, he's king of the mountain. Who am I to argue with the queen? <laughs> I mean, the uh, of commentary. You know it. Now, Kevin, Kevin right control. now, he wants to be the man. He wants to be the king of the hill, if you, as it were, if you will. As they say. Exactly. Rob has determination, but Kevin has the hunger. Breaker. Oh, spinebuster! Kevin already arm has drag. some arm drag. Oh! Oh no! Not the dethroner! Oh no! It wasn't it was the other way! Yeah. Holy smokes! One, two, whoa no! Kevin is a hard-working, determined guy. He has the drive, but does he's he have the... He's trying to prove that he can get the belt right now. Well, I'm sure he'd look great with that belt, and he'd be hard to beat, but... You, got, you gotta put in the dues, dude. That's what gives you that extra stamina in the, in the match, when you put in that determination, like Florinda, and AK, and John Azzy. They all do this stuff, and they'll all... Uh-oh. Leg drag. A snap was a dragon sweep. Or? Dragon whip. There we go. I knew drag was in there somewhere. You go ahead and call it. I, I, I actually like it when you call the match. You go ahead. I'm gonna say. How did I know you know it was? Oh. Nope. How would I know that you knew that was drag in there, right? Exactly. I know a little bit about drag here and now. Oh, he's losing his grip. You better hold on if he wants to win it. <laughs> oh, now the count. We don't want this. This is bad. Throw him in the ring now. Be a good boy. You can't get the match out of the ring. I mean, it would 
didn't suit Rob, but it wouldn't suit Kevin very much at all. Well, of course, Kevin can't win the match out of here. He's setting up something big. One, two, two three. three! Well, he retained that gold. Kevin, well, Kevin really gold. wanted to try, but he didn't have what it took today, baby. That is terribly unfortunate for Kevin. I'll hear about that. I do believe I better get some security. This could, this might not be the end of the line if he goes to the gym, does what it takes, and comes back with some ferocity. You know that he'll be right back fighting for that title again. He loves that gold, as you can see. Exactly. I don't think this is the end of this match, just maybe the beginning. These two men will probably have more down the line. special promo by our special mystery wrestler, Crow the Omega. I don't feel too well about that one now. Well, here we are, joining Crow the Omega in an actual sanctioned tag team. This might be his first wrestling match of any kind in this bed. Yeah, at least in this bed. Everything else has just been like a ghost smoking mess coming out trying to interfere. Just an all-around, just bad apple. Well, John Nazzy is probably glad to have him because he did help him out a little bit indirectly. Rugged Rebel, however, not happy about the whole thing because he doesn't like those people interfering in his matches. But this is sanctioned and he'll have to deal with it. Exactly. And you know AK, he's no, you know, no nice guy either, so he's going to love getting his hands dirty in this fight. It seems interesting to see what Crow does in this match. He's been such a ghost. Some people like hiding in shadows, being man mystery and all. Now I know y'all be loving this shit right here. AART 
There he is, John Azzy, spirited young man, powerhouse, but friendly as heck to the right people. I love this new little outfit he has on. He really like captures his essence. Very well tailored. Everybody's known to been doing that finishing where he chokes people out. It's called the Wolf Bane Fist. And that's what he has on his shirt. Wolf Bane. Wolf chokes him out right before he kills someone. Speaking of death, it looks like it comes his partner, Crow the Omega. Not sneaking out, just coming right out there. All creepy like. We have crossed paths, him and me, in our in our lives online, and here we are once again in the FBXWs. Much like a grim week it's on a night policy trying to launch it. Oh, here comes the rugged rebel. You know he really has something to do tonight. He's really mad. His legs will be on that defense to cut it. Well, it's true, he always been blaming him for attacking from behind, and here's his backup, AK. This man is no strange to attack people from behind. So we might have paired them off pretty well. Exactly, this looks like there's going to be a little bit of fighting back and forth. There's a good guy, there's a bad guy. Nobody knows who's who. It's going to be beautiful. And the bell rings! Whoa! Crow just likes to just get all crazy there, doesn't he? Well, he's doing all he can to distract the Rugged Rebel, obviously. Oh, yeah, with Rugged Rebel right there. What is he doing? He's... Referee is, uh... From what... Rugged Rebel is not able to... From... Yeah, see, he lost concentration there. From what I've heard about this guy from his first match ever, he never liked to play by the rules. He's not opposed to hitting to him. Hitting the ref, interfering, doing anything it takes to win. Crow keeping his calm now. Better not turn your back on him, though. Whoa, good moves on John Azzy. Oh, clothesline. Let's try to see that his problem right now, Rugged has his eyes trying to go everywhere. He can't keep his eyes on John Azzy and Crow at the same time. Well, Crow's behaving himself now. This is good. I'm sure he really would as long as his pot was in control, but if you let the momentum change, you'll probably see Crow acting up again. Well, you never know if he did a tag team or something like that. I've never seen someone like him as much of a tag team type of person, obviously. No, I can't see Crow ever tagging with anyone in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't work well with us. Oh! Oh my, big code breaker right there to his face. Uh oh! Look, Rugged doesn't even care. Just in defiance of them, oh, he's trying, trying to show to that he's not scared. Any other wrestler would have never thrown him back in the corner where his partner was, but Rugged was showing that he's not scared one bit. John has he needs to get a tag in right now. Whoa! Hey, Crow! Where is Crow going? Crow's not worried about being part of the Azzy. All he wants to do is fight the run. Oh, what, what is that about? Well, you know a man like this isn't, isn't above cheating or doing whatever it takes. He's massacring him out there. Oh! One. One. Two. Two. Your fight with Dirty at its, at its finest. This is mayhem. Crow just murdered Rugged Rebel, and the referee couldn't do much about it. Well, that's what Rugged Rebel's been saying. This man has been a thorn in his side for a long time, and he thought he was finally done with it. For good credit, I can see why now that Rugged Rebel doesn't like Crow the Omega. He's nothing more than a troublemaker. One, two. Oh. Well, they had a little bit of a dark past in uh, a previous association. 
We're only too glad to have it continue here if they have to do it. You know more about that than I do. I'm just judging what I'm seeing from my eyes right in front of us. Well, history is a, is a beautiful thing. It can be an ugly thing. Right now, it looks like Crow is just going to do anything it takes to get his revenge. John he's Nancy still hasn't been tagged in, though. I keep that in mind. He, well, he's lucky his partner's been doing well in the ring. It's, it, it's a wonder would Crow sit here and focus on Rugged if his partner was losing the match or would he try to get involved and help his partner. Because right now he looks like he's just being selfish. Crow has yet to enter the ring legally. Done. And you know that as he needs a tag. He needs it. And now, oh, Crow, what do you, you have a partner here, man. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, wow, wrestling move. Oh! He did a big springboard rolling power bomb from the eighth. Uh oh, John Azzy setting up for a finisher. And he's going for the Wolf Fang fixed on AK. Now, this could be it right now. If Crow just keeps rugged gravel away, oh, this no! could be the end of the match for both of them. AK got out of that move. Pro is a good partner. He'd go back and help his friend right now. Come on, Pro. Wakey, wakey. No. Oh, my goodness gracious. It looked, like I said, it looks like he's leaving Azzy out to draw. He must think it's an, a traditional FBXW match. Oh! John Azzy, whoa, what's he doing? Is he, he's gonna, he tags him in! What the heck? One, Looked like John gave two, Crow more credit than he deserved. Three, wow, uh, he didn't have to pull a punch in the ring there. John Azzy just set it up for him. Everything was handed to him on the silver platter. I don't like this character one bit. Well, I brought him in because I have, a, it's a sanctuary for people who have to resolve things one way or another. Well, hopefully we get to see this thing resolved before it gets any dirtier because I didn't care for that at all. Well, Rugged Rebel didn't lose face, but Pro, what, like, John Azzy just handed that to him. That's unbelievable. There's something to these two right here. I don't know what it is right now. Well, they don't hate each other. That's a good thing. That is, a, that is a good thing, obviously. Well, thank you for joining us, and tune in next week to Show 10! Hopefully things get better by then. The FDXW head is a great effect. FDXW run by the professor. Watch today. FDXW, FDXW, FDXW.